Și am onoarea să-l prezint pe domnul secretar de stat a Ministerului Educației, Culturii și Științei. Mulțumim mult pentru, pentru vizită. Deci, vreau să o prezint pe excelența sa, domnul ambasador Armeniei în Republica Moldova, care este pentru prima dată astăzi în instituția noastră. Vreau să o prezint pe rectorul, colegul nostru, partenerul proiectului, rectorul Academiei Similare din Armenia, domnul Arsen Lochian, desigur pe coordonatorul de proiect, doamna Tereza Hacioian, pe doamna Claudia Melinte, coordonatorul biroului Erasmus Plus, probabil pe care cei din proiect ați avut onoarea să conlucrați și să lucrați împreună. O să încep cu aceea că vă mulțumesc pentru faptul că ați dat curs invitației noastre pentru a desfășura acest forum în Academia de Administrare Publică. Sunt reprezentanți din șase țări, din 11 instituții de învățământ. pentru ce a prezentat pentru noi Academia de Administrare Publică acest proiect. Acest proiect a fost o experiență foarte bogată pentru colegii mei din cadrul Bibliotecii Științifice a Academiei de Administrare Publică. A fost o frumoasă ocazie pentru a vedea cum funcționează bibliotecile din alte state și din alte instituții de învățământ din Europa, Biblioteca Academiei de Administrare Publică s-a îmbogățit foarte mult cu practici frumoase aduce din instituțiile, aduce din instituțiile parteneri ale proiectului dat. Deci, vreau să vă spun că anul acesta Academia de Administrare Publică este în cel de-al 25-lea an de la fondare. Deci, ca și, ca și recunoștință pentru activitatea pe care au depus-o colectivul Academiei de Administrare Publică în acest an, în ziua Academiei, a fost decernată instituției Ordinul de Onoare, care este al doilea ordin în ierarhia distincțiilor de stat a Republicii Moldova. Iar ca recunoștință pentru activitate depusă în cadrul bibliotecii, doamnei director, i-a fost decernată medalia Gloria Munci. Desigur, în afară de dumneiei, și alți membri ai colectivului au fost decernați cu distincții de stat. Iar domnul șef a editurii, care îl aveți aici prezent, a fost decernat cu titlul de om emerit. Probabil pe parcursul acestor trei zile pe care veți afla în Republica Moldova și în cadrul Academiei de Administrare Publică veți înțelege mai mult ce înseamnă instituția noastră. Este o instituție specifică plasată doar pe segmentul instruirii celor din administrația publică. Veți vedea că... Veți vedea că cu suportul proiectului am reușit să modernizăm și Biblioteca Științifică a Academiei. 
În ajunul anului nou am lansat o sală multimedia cu suportul proiectului. Pentru care mulțumim, Doamne Merinti, pentru suport și sprijin. Încă o dată vă zic bun venit la toți reprezentanții veniți din afara țării. În afară de Academia de Administrare Publică, beneficiară a acestui proiect a fost și Universitatea Pedagogică din Bălț. Nu mai zic, ei zic că nu mai sunt deja pedagogică, pentru că s-au plasat și pe segmentul drept, economie, inginerie. Un pic ați încurcat destinația. Deci, mâine veți avea ocazia să mergeți în, în Bălți, să vizitați și această instituție de învățământ. Totodată, colegii mei de la, din cadrul bibliotecii au făcut și un, un program cultural. Sper că, sper că nu numai colegii mei au venit din instituțiile dumneavoastră cu bune practici, dar și dumneavoastră veți avea ocazia să plecați din Republica Moldova cu o imagine foarte bună despre țara noastră, despre Academia de Administrare Publică, despre colectivul care lucrează în această instituție de învățământ și este o frumoasă ocazie de a găsi oportunități comune pentru lansarea unor noi proiecte. Vă mulțumesc foarte mult! Și în continuare o să-i acord cuvântul domnului Arsen Lochian, rectorul Academiei din Armenia. Уважаемые партнеры, уважаемый ректор Академии Госуправления Республики Молдова, уважаемый господин посол, уважаемая госпожа Мелинте, уважаемые представители Министерства культуры и образования Молдовы. Благодарю всех за участие в финальном мероприятии проекта ЛНСС. Сегодня знаменательный день в истории проекта ЛНСС. Заключительная конференция проекта. Все мы собирались в гостеприимном Молдавском доме в Академии Государственного управления Республики Молдова. В первую очередь хочу поблагодарить руководство Академии и ее сотрудников за хорошо проделанную работу, за успешное участие в работах проекта и за организацию такого важного мероприятия. В течение трех лет исполнение проекта. Все вы отлично трудились. И в итоге мы имеем отличные результаты. Наши университеты приобрели необходимое оборудование для лучшей организации работы наших университетских библиотек. Наши библиотекари, профессорско-преподавательский состав, студенты проходили очень важные для них тренинги, семинары. В рамках проекта были разработаны 8 учебных модулей. 
1173 человек из трех стран. Армении, Молдавии и Белоруссии участвовали в тренингах и получили сертификаты об участии. Мы считаем, что ЛНСС проект в целом удался и очень надеемся на, на сотрудничество наших партнеров в других проектах. Желаю вам всем плодотворной работы в рамках проекта за три дня в Молдавии. Спасибо. Спасибо, господин ректор. Я думаю, что будет и на армянском выступать. В следующий раз. Стимат вас, стимат коллеги. А что, как мама анонсат репрезентанту Министерства Эдукации, номер секретарь Дестат, дом Андрей Кистол. Deci, care e ofertă? Bună ziua tuturor! Sper să vedeți! Vreau, în primul rând, să vă salut aici la Academie de Administrare Publică din partea domnului ministru Monica Babuc. Salut toți participanții la acest eveniment final aici la Academia de Administrare Publică și exprim și satisfacția, inclusiv și personală, având în vedere că sunt un absolvent acestei Academii, să vin aici și să văd câte rezultate frumoase se întâmplă la Academie și ce proiecte extraordinare se implementează aici. Din 2012, practica sistem în Republica Moldova la o transformare a bibliotecilor publice din Republica Moldova. Din 2012 implementăm acel proiect Novoteca, care este un proiect extraordinar pentru modernizarea bibliotecilor publice. Mă bucură că acum putem vorbi de peste 1000 de biblioteci publice modernizate, peste 1000 și ceva de bibliotecari care au fost instruiți, alte câteva de mii de servicii care au fost create în bibliotecile publice. Anul trecut, grație unui efort comun al bibliotecilor și al programului Navoteca, Parlamentul Republicii a aprobat o nouă lege a bibliotecilor, lege care, în opinia experților care ne-au asistat, experți în Suedia, este una modernă și una din cele mai performante legi la nivel de biblioteci din Europa. Mă bucură că această lege acoperă și dezvoltă noi servicii moderne de către biblioteci promovează noi servicii dezvoltate de biblioteci. Consolidează cooperarea între biblioteci și autoritățile locale și centrale. Și oferă o nouă perspectivă dezvoltării bibliotecilor din Republica Moldova. Mă bucură că acest proiect care, iată, suntem la evenimentul final astăzi aici în, la Academia de Administrare Publică, a dezvoltat pe linia universităților, bibliotecilor universitare, acest spectru de modernizare a bibliotecilor publice. Mă bucură că rezultatele care au fost obținute și care sunt sigur că le veți vedea în zilele următoare, denotă importanța pe care și la nivel de Academie și la nivel de stat se acordă modernizării bibliotecilor publice. Vreau să mulțumesc tuturor partenerilor acestui proiect și celor care susțin acest proiect Uniunii Europene pentru faptul că prin Erasmus Plus oferă această posibilitate de interacțiune între bibliotecile și instituțiile de, din domeniul bibliotecului din țările noastre. 
Doresc succes evenimentului, aduc încă o dată sincere mulțumiri tuturor partenerilor acestui proiect, ambasadei armenii pentru prezența la acest eveniment, delegația Unii Europene pentru prezența la acest eveniment și sper într-adevăr să putem consolida în continuare rolul bibliotecilor în comunitățile noastre și să avem ca cât mai multe biblioteci oferă servicii în beneficiul cetățenilor Republicii Modor. Vă mulțumesc foarte mult, domnule secretar de stat. Vă așteptăm cu orice ocazie la Academia de Administrare Publică. Vreau să anunț pentru oaspeții de peste hotare că Republica Moldova a trecut printr-o reformă drastică a aparatului central, a administrației publice centrale. Din un guvern de 16 ministeri au rămas doar 9 ministeri. De aceea, acțiuni sunt foarte, foarte multe la care și cei din administrație publică centrală trebuie să le facă față cu prezent. De aia, domnul secretar general și-a cerut scuză că o să plece într-un anumit moment. Cu multă plăcere vreau să-l prezint pe domnul reprezentant a Uniunii Europene, domnul Baranauskas, și Academia de Administrare Publică împreună cu Ambasada Uniunii Europene din Republica Moldova are mai multe proiecte. De aceea suntem pentru probabil beneficiarii privilegiați în cadrul acestei cooperări și cu mult drag de ofer cuvânt. Alexei, altădată să te rog mai multe microfoane să plăsesc în masă centrală. A, uite, este aici. Dear Rector, dear Ambassador, dear State General Secretary, dear Project, project Team of... Dear Project... The project team of uh, uh, Library Network Support Services, dear, dear, dear guests, uh, it's a pleasure for me to represent the EU delegation to the Republic of Moldova at this important event in the lifetime of, the, of your project, the final management team uh, meeting. The Erasmus Plus program is one of the most successful <coughs> EU programs known worldwide. The Republic of Moldova is an active partner participating in different types of Erasmus Plus projects and your project is a real confirmation of the Erasmus Plus operational activity in the Republic of Moldova. I hope today we'll have the possibility to see a part of the results which have been achieved by an international team within the Library Network Support Services modernizing libraries in Armenia, Moldova and Belarus through library staff development and reforming libraries project. Uh, 13 partners from seven countries are participating in this project. I hope that your participation in the project has contributed at the realization of, of the project objectives and as a result uh, in the participation, participation uh, the libraries of the higher educational institutions became more modern and the involved staff achieved acquired new skills and competences. By supporting this project, the, the European Commission emphasized the role of the library in the modern education and its need to adapt to the new technologies and public accessibility. Capacity building projects are an exercise of working together, interconnecting interconnection of European and partner universities, and you've demonstrated that your institution is prepared for the internationalization process and is ready to reach new goals in terms of cross-boarding projects. As we've noticed, your institution is involved in two of 
15 capacity building projects running in Moldova currently, which means that you have already good experience in managing Erasmus Plus projects. We are confident that using the opportunity of Erasmus Plus capacity building projects, Moldovan higher education system could make an important phase forward and continue modernization and integration in the higher education area. All previous Tempus and current Erasmus CBAHE projects implemented in Moldova higher education system so far have had a deep positive impact on the restriction of the higher education according to Bologna principles. The development of the quality assurance system in higher education at institutional and at national level, the institutionalization of the university autonomy, the modernization of the university curricula and strengthening of the cooperation between the higher education sector and the society. All these projects have contributed to the alignment of the Moldovan higher education system with the European standards and we strongly support the continuation of the institution's initiated reforms. Speaking about the future, this is already known that the European Commission has adopted a proposal for the next Erasmus program, which is doubling the budget to 30 billion euros for the period, period of 2021-2027. This means also more possibilities in terms of projects implemented and mobility opportunities within the Erasmus program, the Erasmus Plus program. We strongly support higher education institutions in the Republic of Moldova to continue to be active and apply with new innovative and useful projects, uh, project ideas, and to make a good use of all the opportunities the European institution is offering to your countries. A good news for the next year concerning Moldova is Erasmus Plus, uh, that the European Commission is foreseeing additional funding of 1.4 million euros uh, each year, covering the new mobilities for university students and staff. This new budget window would allow funding around 700 new mobilities for students and staff. This is why we encourage your institution to be active in building partnerships and absorb the available budget. And uh, at the end of my, my address, I would like also to express my personal appreciation for the work of all the librarians uh, who are the gatekeepers to the deep learning, uh, which is so needed to keep our brain sober and uh, to preserve knowledge and critical thinking in, in our society. Let me finish with a quote that uh, I remember is engraved in the, at the entrance of the oldest building of the Library of Congress by, by this Enlightenment uh, era poet Alexander Pope. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pyrian spring. These shallow drones intoxicate the brain and drinking largely sober us again. So I would like to wish you a very successful conference and fruitful discussions ahead. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very Vă mulțumim pentru acele uh, proiecte care le susțineți, uh, inclusiv acele inițiative ale Academiei de Administrare Publică. Și la citatul dumneavoastră, eu, mie îmi place un alt citat. Marele Constantin Stere, în 1895, spunea, cum arată astăzi școala, așa va arăta mâine țară. Eu sper că Academia de Administrare Publică se încadrează perfect în, această, în acest moto. Și ținând cont de faptul că fără doamna Melinte, probabil acest proiect ar fi mers mult mai greu, nu este singurul proiect care îl are Academia de Administrare Publică cu Erasmus Plus. În cadrul proiectelor Erasmus Plus, noi am avut profesori care au mers peste hotare și o văd aici astăzi pe doamna Zelinski, șefa Catedrei de Administrare Publică. Am avut studenți care au fost în mobilitate academică anul acesta peste hotare. 
Mai avem în luna noiembrie 15 studenți din Școala Națională de Studii Politice și Administrative de la București care vor veni la Academia de Administrare Publică. Săptămâna viitoare cineva pleacă iarăși în mobilitate academică cu sprijinul Erasmus Plus. De aceea, doamna Melinte, cu mult drag ne veți cuvânt. Vreau să salut acest minunat proiect în domeniul de părerilor, care, din păcate, ajunge la vici, care, din păcate, ajunge la finalul celor trei ani extrem de interesanți pentru toată echipa proiectului, ca și celelalte proiecte finanțate din Uniunea Europeană. Acest proiect și-a dus scopul de a moderniza sistemul de învățământ superior din țările patinere din care face parte și Republica Moldova, modernizând bibliotecile. Este unul din rarele proiecte în Republica Moldova care se focalizează pe domeniul bibliotecilor, dacă nu greșesc în total, în ultimii ani au fost doar, zic, sau poate că mult, doar trei proiecte în acest domeniu și felicit echipa proiectului că ați făcut un lucru enorm și ați câștigat acest proiect din cauza că lucrul asupra proiectului începe mult înainte de cei trei ani cu care el, de fapt, se lansează. Activitatea echipei începe încă de la scrierea proiectului, ceea ce este un lucru foarte complicat. Și de aceea exprim recunoștință întregii echipe a proiectului pentru conceperea proiectului, pentru scrierea proiectului, pentru câștigarea lui și, evident, pentru cei trei ani de lucru în comun, care permit un început, aș zice, de schimbare a bibliotecilor în Republica Moldova, din cauza că pentru a moderniza bibliotecile noastre este încă un drum foarte lung de făcut. Și ca să nu să nu vorbesc foarte mult din cauza că aveți lucruri foarte concrete și prezintuți în cadrul acestei conferințe, Vreau să repet încă o dată ceea ce a subliniat și domnul Baranaus privind viitorul proiectului Erasmus Plus în general, deci proiectul Erasmus Plus, ca fiind extrem de important că aducea bugetul începând cu anul 2021. Și noi, ca țară, de fapt, chiar încă și mai înainte de acest an, vom avea parte de buget suplimentar pentru modelul de zicite naționale. Acest lucru e foarte important. Și, în acest sens, vreau să urez echipei proiectului, practic, fiecărei universități care pare că face parte din acest proiect. Să conceapă noi proiecte, să aplici pentru noi proiecte și această urare este atât pentru doamna coordonator, cât pentru fiecare din bibliotecile care se face parte. Sper că deja să te gata pentru a câștiga la proiecte. Vă doresc mai viitor. Cu multe proiecte rați. Vă mulțumim foarte mult, doamna Merinti. Și eu un secret vă spun că ei deja lucrează la alt proiect. Sper că nu e secret, sper că e secret. Important este victoria. Și am ajuns și la coordonatorul internațional al proiectului. Doamna Tereza Haciuian, care îi ofer și cuvântul, dar și moderarea în continuare a lucrărilor acestei întruniri.
Energia. Distinguished partners. Distinguished Rector of Academy of Public Administration of Moldova. Distinguished Rector of Public Administration Academy of the Republic of Armenia. Distinguished Ambassador of Armenia to Moldova. Distinguished Representative of NEO in Moldova, Ms. Melinte. Distinguished Representatives of EU Delegation and Embassy of Republic of Belarus in Moldova. Distinguished guests, let me greet everybody. Today is a very important day of, of in, in the history of our LNSS project. Uh, I'm very happy to say that we have very good achievements and results. On the other hand, I'm a little sad because this is the final conference of the project and we'll say goodbye to each other. But I'm confident that we can find new paths, new ways to collaborate in other projects. Thank you very much for this hard work that you have done. Today we have 55% representatives of LNSS project from 13 countries, from 13 universities of 7 countries. University of Public, Academy of Public Administration of Moldova, Academy of Public, Public Administration Academy of the Republic of Armenia, Academy of Public Administration of Belarus and partners from these three countries Belarusian State University, Yanka Kupala State University of Rodno, Brest State Technical University and uh, from Moldova we have one more partner Aleko Russo <laughs> State University of Balti Elena is here, and also our European partners, our distinguished partners, my very dearest partners. So, they, with their support, we have such a good results, very good practice, and we can share this practice with other universities and other libraries. Here you can see Dr. Manolis Kukurakis, University of Crete, Greece, Dr. Angela Repanovic, Transylvania University of Brasha, Romania, Dr. Uh, Gerard Cullen, the Pyramid Group, Germany. Also, uh, we have partners from uh, Ireland, they will be uh, next day. Uh, uh, Gerald Kavanagh and Patrick Kirby, Limerick Institute of Technology. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. It was really a very hard uh, work, but we, we had difficulties within these three years, uh, but we overcame all these difficulties, I can say, surely. Let me uh, uh, present our achievements very shortly. So, you can see the list of our partner organizations that I listed. So, I forgot about, I'm so sorry, Manaja. Manana Salukvadze, she is from Georgia, but she, is, she represents the Public Administration Academy of Armenia. She is the financial manager of the project. She is a very important person. All our money is in her hands. <laughs> but but she is very strict and we don't lose any, any cent from the project. So, uh, thank you. Also, we have an uh, associate partner within the project. These are uh, Electronic Library Consortium of Armenia, the head of, of this uh, consortium is here, Anna Chulian from Armenia. Uh, and the next partner is Belarusian National Library of Belarus and uh, also Electronic Library Consortium of Moldova. So, let's go ahead. <coughs> you can see the important days of our project. So, we signed the grant agreement uh, in January, on January 7, 2016, and uh, received first installment in the end of January. Actually, we start the project implementation in February, but the 
the kickoff meeting took place in Brasov in, in March, in the beginning of March. So, and partnership agreements uh, with all partners uh, were signed on June 14. Why is it so late? Because we have some, uh, a little bureaucracy in Belarus, because in this country, <laughs> in order to get this authority to, um, to start the project, they are waiting about five, six months to get the, the authorization or approval from the Ministry of Economy. That's why. But they are great partners, thank you very much. And that, that is not, not your fault. This is okay, this is normal. Uh, bureaucracy is a good thing, not bad. So first kick, uh, our first meeting, kickoff meeting took place in Transylvania University of Brasov. Angela is here, she was the responsible person for this event. So we met, we met first time uh, and uh, it was very nice to have such partners. I want to say that all partners were really very, uh, very um, punctual, very well organized <coughs> and that's why we achieved good results. So first, it, it first time we, we didn't know who is Anokin or who is Vladimir from uh, BSU or Elena from Musar with Tagdali. But, uh, <laughs> but it was very nice to, to meet them and to become confident that we have really a very good partners. Because the most important thing in this project it is consortium who are involved in this project. And we selected people who we know First of all, because they are responsible for this job and their universities and the countries. Very important. What countries are involved in the project, what universities, and who are the contact persons, who are uh, in, uh, focal points in the project. So in, in this meeting, we uh, all partners uh, presented their universities, their uh, problems and uh, the coordinator university provided them with guidelines for partnership agreement, guidelines for the use of grant and project detailed description. Uh, the first activity what, that we, we, have, uh, we had within the project was ESP English for specific purposes training in three countries, in Armenia, Moldova and Belarus. You see the dates when we did this uh, trainings. I don't want to say about the figures uh, because I want to show you in the, in the end this figure because it's very impress impressive and this is our main achievement. How many people have been trained, librarians, academic staff and students have been tra trained within this three, uh, the project uh, during these three years. Uh, uh, the, uh, just about uh, the statistics about ESP training uh, in three countries. You see the figures, 55% in Moldova, 51 in Belarus, and 97 in uh, Armenia. Uh, we had uh, the main uh, participants of the uh, trainings were uh, representatives of the respective universities, but also we had some uh, people outside the project. For example, in BSU, they train Librarians outside the consortium, 10%. Uh, also, we had the next training uh, after this ESP. The, the most important training for us, it was curriculum training, which took place in Ireland, um, organized by Limerick Institute of, Tech of Technology. And our par partner universities got the, the, the experience of our European partners how to develop these eight modules that we have uh, prepared, worked out uh, during the project, and trained people. These are our eight modules. You see the titles, English for Specific Purposes, Marketing Skills for Librarians, Essential Management and Transferable Skills for libra Librarians, Information Literacy and Research Skills, Innovative Online Library Services for 21st Century Librarians, electronic library, access to libraries uh, and society to learners with special needs, 
and library collection development policies. These are the eight modules that have been developed during the project by all partner universities and they have been <coughs> piloted in their universities. Uh, curriculum, I said about curriculum training, you see the photo, this, uh, it, uh, we had two week training and we have worked very hard in limiting the, and we had uh, self-study work sessions also and developed these draft uh, modules. Each university developed a, a draft module of one university, one mo uh, draft of one module. Uh, besides, we have done the SWOT analysis of partner university libraries, visited the Limerick Glaxman Library, library uh, needs survey was done by, by our partner from Transylvania University, Miss Angela, and we have got a, a picture about the needs of our libraries in partner universities. And also we, we met uh, representatives of this uh, Dyslexia Support Center of the Limerick Institute of Technology, which was important for the module number seven, access to libraries with, for people with special needs. Um, during this uh, two weeks training, we created such a table, responsibilities of partner universities. Each university was responsible for three modules. We have uh, nine universities and eight modules. Uh, but each university was responsible for, for example, you see Goris. Here is Naira and we her team. Uh, uh, English for specific purposes. Brest University was responsible for uh, marketing skills. Public Administration Academy for access to libraries with special needs, etc. You see the table. So we crea created this table, these responsibilities, in order to to know who who will answer, who will give the, give the answer, what they have done during the project. We had <coughs> several monitorings of the project by uh, National Erasmus Plus Office representatives. The first uh, meeting with our monitoring, uh, the first monitoring took place in Yerevan, Armenia, in 2016 October. Ms. Almudena, uh, the, our uh, project officer, visited Armenia, and the Lana Karlova with her team visited Paara and uh, uh, met our par partners from Armenia. Uh, Yerevan, Bruce uh, State University of Lang Languages and Social Sciences, Goris State University and Public Administration Academy. You see the, the statistics, the figures. In Belarus, it was in November 30, and in Moldova, December 16 at APAM. Now, in 2017 and 18, also, we had monitoring visits. It was a little stressful for us because we uh, we worked very hard <laughs> in order to show our strengths for to the now offices in Belarus. It was in October 2017 in Moldova in uh, June 2017 in 2018. The last monitoring visits were in Armenia in <coughs> April and in Moldova in June. In the end of July, I received the monitoring reports from Ms. Melinte and Lana Karlova. So we have worked very hard after these visit visits. We received the feedback from NEO offices. Our project officer from Brussels sent me their report with their comments, recommendations, and I shared it with our partners. And we thought what to do to get more, 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 better, better, uh, Results. So uh, we had uh, pilot two pilot trainings of our eight modules, uh, and you see the observers. Our our European partners were responsible for uh, for the results of these pilot trainings, and they visited our respective universities and submitted their observation reports about the results of their of these pilot trainings. You see Transylvania University Angela, uh, uh, University of Great Manolis, Limerick Institute of Technology, Patrick and Gerald, and uh, 
the pyramid group, Jerry and Valeria and also Margaret. Uh, about these uh, uh, pilot trainings observations, it was a very good, uh, we created the template for this observation report and it, it was very important for quality assurance uh, of the project and we received good results from our European partners. We, are, we were happy that they, that sometimes they sent me some short, small um, comments and it was very important for me to get the comments from our partners. For example, Manolis and Angela sent me that very good um, pilot trainings, but you know they are librarians and they need more uh, competencies of how to develop a PowerPoint presentation how to make a presentation, because they are not academic persons, they are librarians, and they need these skills to train more librarians in, in the future. That's why in, in, in this year, in National Awareness Day um, event, they presented their interesting presentation about how to, to make a, a, a successful, effective presentation for librarians. Let's go ahead. Then, uh, no, this is a, just an example. For example, my university, public administration, all are my universities, but I am from Papa, that's why. So uh, we developed module three. We developed two modules. The first one, module three, essential management and transferable skills for librarians and library staff. Uh, and time management uh, was more my uh, um, topic to, to train partners. And uh, ne next was for a library for, for special needs, people for, with special needs. You see the dates, it was in 2016, and here you can see the activities carried out during this training, skills of participants in time management were checked, and uh, we developed the questionnaires and to see uh, the, the rate, uh, the, the level of their uh, skill on time management. Also, we had an agreement uh, with uh, the Embassy of the United States in Armenia, Library of the United States of Armenia, uh, uh, the Embassy of Armenia, and uh, they uh, received our partners, all participants of this pilot training, and uh, it was also a very useful uh, activity for, for librarians to see the Embassy Library uh, at first, they were very much surprised that they didn't see too ma many shelves of the books there. All was electronic, and it was very uh, good experience for them. This is uh, this, some some uh, references from the feedback of participants. This was also very important for us uh, for quality assurance of the project assessment by partners, by, by participants, trainees. Of, of our uh, pilot trainings. So we uh, asked them to, to complete, to, to fill in the questionnaire and receive their feedbacks from all uh, universities. And uh, our quality assurance <coughs> responsible person, Mr. Manolis Kokorakis, has developed a report uh, about uh, these feedbacks to see, uh, he will, s tomorrow in, in Balti, he will present uh, these uh, this results, uh, uh, you will see uh, the, the evaluation or assessment of partners, partner participants of our trainings in the university <laughs> level and the country level. Yeah? Okay. So, total number of trainees in first pilot training, you, you see figures by country, by university. Uh, the total number is 233. You will see the bigger figure for second pilot training, number of participants. We have more. Uh, here, this is the just sample of certificate <coughs> that we uh, awarded our participants. Each university from all uh, countries uh, awarded certificates of participation of the <coughs> trainees. About dissemination, the, this. Um, it, this, uh, it was conducted within, uh, in the website of the project. All the news and the activities have been um, uh, illustrated. And at, at the same time, in all the university, 
uh, websites, the same information is, is available. And uh, we have three re uh, people who are responsible for, for the website. We started from Naira. At first, she, de she developed the, the monitoring, some, such kind of monitoring report, feedback from or review of, of the websites of our, our universities. Then uh, Svetlana from Belarus and uh, Valentina from uh, Moldova joined her and submitted us the dissemination uh, results about the websites of, of the partner universities and in general about the pro project uh, website. So the project website is, is changed and you can see now a more dynamic and more interesting website because we received a comment from the uh, from Neo Armenian <coughs> report that the project website must be more effective and we worked on it also. The, the technical implementation report was submitted uh, in uh, uh, April 2017. You see the documents that we have submitted to the uh, to Brussels, uh, to the agency. Besides, we have developed, uh, we had uh, events, Library National Awareness Day events in three partner countries in 2017 and 2018. You see the dates of, of 2017 in three countries. And besides, we developed the SWOT analysis of uh, these National Awareness Day events carried out by Project European Partners. After that, we had two more ESP trainings in Moldova and Belarus by Pyramid Group and quality assurance training, which was in uh, September 2017. Our partner, University of Crete, was responsible for this training in Crete and two, 22 participants were trained in this in this university. Dr. Manolis was responsible for that event. Uh, the next second pilot training was in 2017 at Para, our university was responsible for the module number 7UC. Uh, it was uh, in, in the, from the end of November by the end of December. It was a very hectic schedule in the end of the year to, uh, to do this uh, training. But people were happy with it. People really need these trainings. Uh, now you see the numbers, you, you remember that during the first pilot training it was 233 and in the second pilot training we had 200, 298 uh, participants in, in pilot training. Next National Awareness Day this year, you know, recently we had in Moldova in April, in Belarus in April and in Armenia on the 1st of June in Goris. We anticipated that our uh, partners from Moldova and Belarus also <coughs> can come, but the, uh, because of the some political uh, changes in Armenia, it was, uh, time was very short and we couldn't arrange this, their travel to Yerevan. But uh, tomorrow they will present the same material in the final conference of the project. Uh, why in Goris? Because Goris, this year Goris was announced as the capital, uh, capital of the uh, cultural capital of CIS countries. That's why. Uh, in the, recently, we had massive classes in Armenia. Our uh, Irish partners uh, trained Goris State University, Paara, and. Uh, uh, use of university people, 57 participants uh, have been trained in these master classes. And uh, here you can see also, this is also a very important uh, point of our project, equipment. We have, uh, this is such an interesting project where we have, we received too much money for equipment. More than 20,000 euros. And our partner universities suggested uh, to allow them to buy more physical equipment than software. And the, you, you can see the, the equipment by university and by country in, in, within the project. 
equipment by partners in, in Belarus for universities. You see what they have bought and Moldova, you see. Uh -huh. Now I, uh, I'm coming to the finish of the, my presentation. I said in the beginning about this figure. It's very good figure and very impressive. Total number of trainees within the LNSS project during the, the last three years. It is 1,173 people, librarians, academic staff and students. So we are proud of this figure because it's, it's a good result, good achievement, I think. Thank you for your time. And also yeah, I would like to show you some, uh, some impressive photos. from the project. Mm -hmm. The first meeting, grant holders meeting in Brussels, Mr. Lucian and I participated in this event, 2016 January. The kickoff meeting, as I told you, uh, it was a joint uh, uh, event with our uh, with another LNSS project from Western Balkan countries. These are our partners from Limerick. They are the coordinator of that project. Angel, uh, Anna, Julian. Then we started ESP training in our countries. You see photos. ESP training again. English for, uh, curriculum training in Limerick, in Ireland which was one, or, or, or <coughs> one of the most core trainings within the project. And LNSS monitoring, you see <coughs> here, Ms. Albudena and Lana, our NEO representative, are at PAARA. Then intermediate meeting in Dresden, in the Dresden University of Technology. Quality assurance training yeah, in Crete. Yeah, Manolis explains uh, something interesting in, in his library. Again, quality assurance training. Pilot training. So, in the second pilot training, we, we were supported by the, Amer by the American University of Armenia, which is the most well-equipped uh, library in Armenia the Western Library, Western Style Library, and they, uh, we had a study visit to this university library. This is the photo from that uh, day. Monitoring and master class by Angela. We have another project with Angela, with Norwegian partners, and she visited Armenia, and she had a master class on scientometrics, which was very interesting for partners. Uh, EMI training, we had also English for, uh, as a medium of instruction training, which was uh, done by uh, the pyramid group, Gerard Cullen and Valeria Racheva. Again, EMI training. We had three EMI trainings. Mm, no, three, yes. Uh, it was done by the pyramid group, European partners. Also, we had some money. Uh, that uh, we, we were allowed from um, the agency to spend on training based on the needs of our librarians. And we organized EMI training at PARA. Uh, two, we had two groups, two levels, uh, elementary and intermediate, uh, for about three months training, which was very, very important, and they were very happy with this training. National Awareness Day in Goris, And master classes by uh, the, the last event by uh, Irish partners in Yerevan, you see. And at la uh, finally, we had a uh, dissemination workshop. Uh, actually, it was not planned in the work plan of the project. But our NEO, uh, head of NEO Armenia, Ms. Lana Karlova, in her uh, 
uh, report feedback said that as the final conference of the project is not in Armenia, will take place in Moldova, but the coordinator is Armenian University. That is why she suggested to have some kind of small uh, workshop, dissemination workshop for Armenian University libraries. That's why we have the, this event in Yerevan. And thank you very much for your kind attention. Everybody, I love you very much. We are very hard workers, very, very nice people, and very disciplined and very good workers. Thank you. So we continue according to our program. And our partner universities will uh, present their results, what they have done within the project during the last three years. Anna Chulian, head of library of the Brusel State University of Languages and Social Sciences. Okay, so uh, we are happy that uh, we are here. I would like to uh, introduce my team. I came here with um, of, uh, two librarians, um, Arabic Avaneseva and Armine Vartanyan. My tent write Arabic, who did a lot of work with trainings on IT part. Um, Armine Vartanyan, who also is a trainer and was responsible for all social media and uh, the dissemination of our project. Here is Anisha Inyan, a PhD in uh, copyright. So she did a lot of work in um, copyright issues, in information literacy in uh, our project and uh, she is working as a coordinator in Kolki Assurance Center for our university. And uh, Hasmi Kazaran, our head of financial department, very important person. She is uh, working in our university with our new rector team one year, but during this year we did a lot of work and I'm happy because a lot of responsibilities financial I, she took from me. So, and me, I'm head of library of uh, Brussels University and also I'm uh, president of Electronic Library Consortium of Armenia. I'm uh, just uh, targeting all these uh, to be, uh, to target uh, the most important part that this project was only, not was only for librarians in consortium universities, but the consortium was used as a platform to enlarge our outcomes, our training. So uh, 159 librarians, students and professors were trained uh, due to our trainings in our university by our university. So. Um, I will not repeat the same things as Mrs. Kitchen has said about kickoff meeting, about activities we have, uh, how our librarians were integrated, involved in the project during all the all the project, all the trainings. So I will I would like to stop most important <coughs> parts of our project. When the project started in 2015. So it was only one year we were working in this project and I received a fellowship uh, to take part in IFLA conference in Columbus in US uh, uh, and it was very important to be first uh, in, involved integrated in such a huge con conference where I could present the LNSS project and uh, it was uh, people in US 
like people like Lorenz all over the world, we are very interested that European Commission is uh, uh, in uh, Europe are also interested to um, implement fundings for the library uh, uh, <coughs> modernization in such countries like Armenia, Moldova, Belarus, and so on. Uh, you see LNSS curriculum training program. Uh, it was taught also by <coughs> Mrs. Hedrian. I would like to mention a very important fact that uh, many, many European uh, countries, universities uh, have a lot of trainings uh, for us to, uh, to develop uh, for the professional development. But the most important thing that in such trainings we need not to just to take the knowledge, but we need to adapt this knowledge for implementation in our countries. That's why this um, training was very important, because our colleagues in Limerick and uh, from Transylvania University and Manolis Concrete, Jerry, they were very mobile to change some directions to understand what we need more, much more in our countries. That was very important for us. Um, this is the model our university was responsible, information literacy and research skills. And when we compare the different universities' uh, modules, we understand that each university in each country took the most important points, more, most important issues in their country. That's why our modules are a little bit different. At, and it's very good, I think, that we are not just uh, uh, copying the same ideas, the same issues. So uh, also, you see that uh, we have four trainers in this model, so we shared between the trainers and we took also some trainings, trained the trainer and also I think that this is very important as well. You see for the first uh, training, 24 librarians, I'm just mentioning from different libraries, uh, from consortium members, not only our LNSS University Consortium. In our university, we have some information days for our Erasmus Plus and other EU projects. And this is a very good opportunity for us to present the, our project to um, a, um, to a large information between our professors to talk about mobilities and the work we are, we are doing. You see, uh, National Awareness Day uh, in Armenia, organized by our university, it wasn't only like event to uh, aware libraries about our work and so on, but we did so round table, a great gateway to knowledge, where we presented very important issues in copyright. In Armenia, we are now, for two years, we are trying to make some changes in our copyright law. And uh, we work with um, Professor Kenny Cruz from California University and Teresa Hackett from Eiffel. And Anisha Inan as well was involved and me in this uh, making how we make this draft law. So, you know, the political situation changed in Armenia and we are waiting for uh, the draft to be submitted in our country. What we will have if we have new copyright law? A lot of, a lot of things for libraries will be changed. And most, of, most important, the restrictions that libraries have to share information, to use it in educational, for educational needs. Um, also, uh, interesting session, knowledge sharing session, the librarians from National Library of Armenia who took part in our trainings, they also organized such trainings in National Library and more people, more librarians were involved who could, couldn't uh, participate
participate in the training organized by our universities. This is Quality Assurance Week at the University of Crete. And uh, I would like to mention uh, that um, we saw for the first time in our life how it is possible to work with manuscripts, with old books. And I understood the most important thing in our profession that how effectively we can use the resources, but anyway, the book, like it's uh, uh, hard copy of book, yeah, will never, will never move, and so it also <coughs> will be our treasure. Our university is very active in organizing professional orientation days in different regions of Armenia. We are going out <coughs> from Yerevan to, uh, to talk, to share our experience about our professional issues, what we can, what we are doing in our university and um, what we give, what professional skills we give to our students. And in this frame, I organized some uh, trainings for librarians in regions. You see Sevan, Razdan, Armavir. These are, these are regions of Armenia. Some are close, some are uh, uh, far. And um, you know, um, um, we organized also some surveys to understand the professional needs in regions for librarians. And we realized that we need to work a lot to um, develop um, regional, libraries. regional libraries as well. Second uh, pilot training was innovative online library services for 21st century librarians. And you see, we also have a group of uh, trainers here. And most Armenia is uh, concentrated on open access. You know, we in such countries, small countries, developing countries, without no funding. Uh, 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 with no funding, so we try to find ways how we can manage our work and how we can manage our work effectively. You see the 38 librarians from different libraries of Armenia were trained during the second pilot training. And you see our dear Manolis Kukurakis and Angela Rebanovici who are coming to monitor our trainings and then have feedback and we understand where we are good, where we are uh, not very good, so we are working to achieve, to, to have much more achievement. Uh, as a IFL country coordinator, I'm lucky that I can present our achievement in different platforms and one is General Assembly of IFL that was organized in um, Georgia. And when I presented the experience we gained from the LNSS project, I was uh, invited to work with IFL group, with IFL team to um, develop new standard, new training course uh, for information literacy. So LNSS achievement, LNSS experience will be used when we will, will work on this uh, training course. We start it already. Uh, this is my uh, article in Armenian Library Bulletin. It's about our library. Uh, it is, uh, uh, I named it um, Brusov University Library in crossroad of um, development. So I am talking about LNSS project and the opportunities we will have after also the end of the project. In Dilijan, uh, you know, all you will see a uh, net of colleges all over the world, and one we have in Dilijan. And it was also a very interesting conference, uh, 21st Century Library, Good Practices and International Trends. We had uh, librarians uh, all over Armenia, and uh, I was sharing uh, our experience uh, in information literacy during LNSS project. 
Uh, we organized in June. Um, you know, at first we need to needed to make our curricula for librarians. But during the project, we understood that we need to make uh, in different levels. So we prepared another one in the level for lecturers, professors of university, and one for students. So you understand that they are a little bit different from each other. Uh, here, much more on scientometrics, and uh, I think that we will enlarge and work with Angela Rebanovic in this case, and uh, it will be sustainability of our project and cooperation during these three years. At uh, Library National Awareness Day at Gori State University, where uh, we presented, for example, me digital libraries of Armenia and access to international academic databases in Armenia, and Armin Evartanyan presented web to technologies and social net networks in libraries. You see some photos from this event. Um, Due to Angela Radmanovic, I was invited to have a presentation in the reference librarian in the digital age. It was online presentation and we, I was talking about reference services, the experience of the Armenian libraries, what we do, how we use online platforms and what, what will be possible to change. At most it is also we are concentrated in open access. Library equipment, we are happy because 50% of our budget in this project was for equipment. We completely changed the whole equipment for librarians and uh, we equipped our conference hall with new techniques and you can see uh, the whole uh, list we bought. It's about 25,000 euros. So it's, uh, I think, a very important part of this project. I would mention some unexpected outcomes of our project. First, our uh, Anisha Nyan, uh, who was doing her PhD thesis during the project and was involved in this project. So she could implement some experience in her PhD work. Now she's already a doctor. Shaina, she had her defense and uh, I think we didn't expect that we will have such uh, dissemination yeah, experience in this outcome. And the also very important part, this is training for school librarians organized by our university and um, it will go on in the frame of lifelong learning center of our university and it will be our entrepreneurship beginning of, uh, library of our university in the frame of lifelong learning center for librarians, for professional development. We make special program develop special program for school librarians. Most of them are from regions, Arevi Kavanesova and Armine Vartanyan. They uh, make uh, made special, special program. And uh, you know, we have no time during our agenda to present the whole work, but if you have any question, Ami, Arevik and Armine are ready to, uh, they have their own presentation, they can uh, consult to share our experience, so you are welcome to ask any question during these three days we are here. You see, happy librarians working <laughs> during the training. Uh, some days ago, I was at the conference, NACOM conference uh, organized their yearly conference in Yerevan, and I was uh, presenting consortium as a platform for the professional training for librarians in the context of science and education development, and I was talking about LNSS project experience in Armenia. Uh, 
Uh, with, uh, this is my last slide that I say thank you, Multumesk. But uh, also want to mention that uh, the project is sustainable and it will have longer sustainability during some years more. I am happy with this team we worked with. And the most important thing, uh, the warm relations, warm um, uh, behavior to each other. So it's really, it was a very good project. It was very important for us, professional development, but most we gained from this project. I think the relations, new friends, new mm -hmm. colleagues, and I hope we will have, we, it will have continuation and we will meet in another project as well. Thank you so much. Mara Safarian, Boris State University, our regional partner. Dear European, Belarusian, uh, Russian, we were discussing with the girls whether it's pronounced Belarusian or Belarusian and have come to the conclusion that it's Belarusian. Yes? Okay. Uh, Moldovan and Armenian partners of Treasure Paranesis Project and distinguished guests. I greet everyone on behalf of Gori State University at this final and very important conference of LNSS project. Uh, when we began this project uh, three years ago at Gori State University, we only had a vague concept of the project and uh, a very uh, indistinct image of it. But now I'm feeling proud to stand here and to report on the really successful implementation and tangible results of it. When I speak about, when generally we speak about an NSS project in Gori State University, we refer to it as the most successful one among other temples and Erasmus projects. And this success was guaranteed and ensured due to the engaging and supportive community of the project and of course, uh, due to the most competent uh, guidance and coordination of PARA in face of theories with Hechoya. My presentation is about the project implementation, but it's a very long presentation and it's available at the website, official website, so you can get, actually my uh, colleagues and partners spoke about it, the implementation, the stages, the workshops, etc. So I'm not going uh, through all of it, just uh, I'll focus on the SWOT analysis uh, which was built on the format before and now and uh, I'll speak about the ma main achievements at Cori State University. This was the before the so this was the sort of analysis done at the beginning of the project, uh, and then uh, we made uh, the new one and uh, compared like opportunities, threats, etc., and improvements in them. Uh, opportunities were updating the professional and curricular literature and databases, development of e electronic resources and e-library at Gori State University. And really, uh, these uh, opportunities of digitizing the library collections and database uh, has become uh, possible due to the uh, acquisition of uh, equipment and uh, due to the uh, trainings of library staff. Integration into national and international uh, library nets, this uh, issue is still uh, open and we are discussing at the moment the discussions and negotiations are underway. Uh, participation in trainings and capacity building uh, trainings of the GSU library staff uh, 
It is also, uh, it has been successfully implemented during the different uh, trainings and module piloting trainings, etc. Uh, creation of GSU Library Council for it didn't uh, exist before uh, this project, but now it's available and it is working successfully. And also the uh, design and development of library collection development uh, policy. Weaknesses. We had a lot of weaknesses. Those the partners, especially European partners, were uh, at Gore State University. They they saw the state of Gore State uh, University Library at the beginning, and now when they come back and see these big changes, they are really surprised. Uh, the library uh, reading rooms were renovated, re-equipped, and a lot of digital technological devices have been purchased, and, uh, and these are basis, good basis for in a library, electronic library creation and digitization of uh, the database. Uh, lack of professional trainings. This was one of our weaknesses uh, amongst our uh, librarians, but now we can proudly say that due to these trainings organized in the frames of the project, uh, our librarians have been trained and at uh, different trainings and have uh, gained a lot of skills and capacities. Uh, the library staff, uh, of course, it's, it's the most uh, maybe widespread issue that they aren't motivated, maybe mostly due to low salaries, but uh, now, uh, you know, uh, not, not uh, always money plays the most important role, but when they uh, get in touch with all these, uh, all the librarians uh, in the frames of project, this uh, events organized in the frames of project and attendance in different conferences, workshops, etc. They, they feel uh, more motivated than, than before. Mm. What else? The project uh, also uh, financial, fin financial support. It, it, uh, it should be said that it was the most imp important uh, maybe uh, achievement or Financial support to Gore State uh, University Library was really huge because uh, we wouldn't even in, in our in our best dreams we wouldn't have dreamed about this uh, amount of money to purchase so much equipment. Uh -huh. Threats uh, which have become no longer threats because. Uh, with the uh, development of IT and e-libraries and e-databases, uh, uh, this was a great threat. But now, as it has become impossible to create e-library and to digitize the books, uh, it's no longer a threat. Uh, a reduction of the number of users. users uh, we, uh, we have mentioned that uh, uh, it, it depends on different <coughs> factors, uh, but now it is also, it, the demography uh, uh, data has also changed, that the number of users have, has grown. Uh, the next one is uh, necessary materials uh, which aren't available in electronic version, only physical uh, hardcover books were available, but now a library is being created. And uh, I'm going to speak about some outcomes and qualitative and quantitative impact factors. Uh, 67 uh, representatives from Gore State Libra uh, University Library, community libraries, and also academic and administrative staff have been trained in eight trainings. Uh, uh, if we uh, pay attention to the figure, we need to consider the fact that Gore State University is very small in size, only 1,200 students. And this figure, and if we also speak about the academic and administrative staff uh, number, it's only 100, about 100. So 67 is impressive. Uh, uh, almost.
most, uh, more than half of it have been trained. Uh, I spoke about the development, uh, library collection development policy design. Also, we have implemented, uh, we have designed one, uh, modules one and uh, four, and uh, they were piloted and uh, our uh, experts from Europe uh, were present and monitored and gave feedback. Uh, model 1 was uh, English for specific purposes and Model 4 information literacy and uh, research skills. Uh, I already spoke about the, the equipment, purchase of equipment. Two National Awareness Days uh, have been successfully organized and implemented. The, the second one was of more uh, it was a greater event uh, because our partners uh, in Armenia came to Boris to, and this was a really important event in the frames of the project. Uh, when it comes to dissemination and uh, uh, marketing uh, materials, we have published uh, uh, many uh, leaflets, uh, uh, stands, picture stands, uh, um, made t-shirts with the uh, logos of LNSS, Florida State University, uh, created, uh, published uh, about 16 articles uh, in uh, English, Armenian and Russian at local, local newspapers at the official website of LNSS and uh, other websites. Uh, and the project intermediate and final technical and uh, now already uh, financial uh, reports have been represented and so we can say that it was a successful uh, project. And uh, this is, I again uh, thank, thank uh, all my partners uh, for nice cooperation, for nice atmosphere and generally for, uh, for, for this comfort that they have given us during the uh, part of the project from the very beginning up to the end. But I am not considering it uh, the end because everything is uh, coming to a new circle and hopefully we will cooperate in the future. Thank you. Sometimes I, I, I'm speaking in Russian, yeah, I'm confused a little. So now we have a coffee break, short coffee break, 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll continue. Attention please, we continue our work. Now, Helene Hayramedian, Public Administration Academy of the Republic of Armenia. Order and uh, in 2016, 
uh, we had a kickoff meeting of the LNSS project, and uh, uh, there were 21 participants. Uh, it was hosted by uh, Transylvania University of Russia in Romania, and uh, uh, it was uh, in March. The next training uh, was the uh, ESP training within the framework of the project, and uh, we had one in May and one in June. Altogether, uh, 38 participants. And uh, also in 2016, we had the curriculum training in Ireland, in Limerick, and uh, 16 participants uh, attended this training, and eight modules were developed during this training. So, in 2017, the project uh, intermediate meeting took place in uh, Dresden, and in March, uh, then we had the uh, training on quality assurance issues in Crete, uh, University of Crete, uh, 22 participants. Uh, then, uh, in 2017, we had the sixth summit of the book, uh, which was hosted by Transylvania University of Brasov uh, in October. And uh, Mrs. Teresa Petuan uh, was invited as a guest speaker uh, to this important event. Also, uh, we had uh, the pilot training to uh, module on uh, module seven access to libraries and uh, uh, society for learners with special needs. And we had 29 participants, librarians and uh, other staff of the university, uh, 2018. So uh, the LSS project, third, uh, well, uh, second monitoring meeting, took place uh, with 21 participants, and um, then in April we had this visibility. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, we had the visibility and impact of academic product. The lecture by Angela Rapanovich, also with particip uh, uh, 18 uh, with uh, 15 participants, and uh, then we had uh, specific training. English as a medium of instruction. Uh, we had uh, 19 participants, and this was a longer training, two and a half month training uh, for librarians and uh, academic staff. And uh, we uh, recently had this master classes uh, by our LNSS project uh, European partners from the Limerick Institute of Technology. And uh, we had uh, 31 participants. And the last uh, important meeting was this LNSS project dissemination workshop in September with 34 participants. So we had some, uh, now time for some facts and figures. And uh, we have here the number of media, uh, media articles published about the project. Uh, it's, it was, we had seven articles published and we had th uh, 30 uh, library staff attending ESP trainings and uh, the number of the digital, the digital library resources uh, now available to uh, our academy students and academic staff is 448 due to the project, due to the equipment purchased within the framework of this project. So, some, uh, we had also some quality promotional materials and you see we had 100 flyers produced, one banner, uh, caps, uh, t-shirts and mugs with the project logo. We also had um, some uh, translation costs and produced 
uh, translated very important uh, materials uh, concerning uh, library issues, uh, both from English to Armenian and uh, Armenian to English. So we uh, now uh, will uh, speak about some uh, national uh, about the National Library Awareness Day campaigns. We had two, one in uh, 2017 and one in 2018. We made SWOT analysis of these events. Here you see uh, the photos and those uh, promotional materials on the photo. Uh, our students wearing t-shirts and uh, the caps on the table with with uh, logos of the university and the project. Uh, the first one uh, the, uh, oh, that took place in 2017 uh, was on the slogan, A Gateway to Knowledge. And the second one that uh, was mm, took place in Doris, as also mentioned, was mentioned, uh, because it was the uh, capital of a Commonwealth of Independent States. Uh, uh, cap uh, cultural capital. We had uh, 60 attendants, library staff, uh, not only within the uh, project partners, uh, but also from different regional and municipal libraries. And uh, we had guest speakers from different NGOs. Uh, so, uh, uh, then well, we had the original dissemination workshops, the one in uh, 2000, uh, 2017. This was the sixth book uh, of the uh, summit of the book. And uh, as I already mentioned, uh, this uh, book uh, uh, was uh, uh, produced uh, on communication, so, uh, sociology, and Technology, uh, book power in communication, sociology, and technology. And the editorial board consisted of our project partners, uh, Mrs. Teresa Khachian, uh, Angela Rapanovich, and Manolis Kokorakis. Uh, they also had their articles pub published in this uh, conference proceedings. So it was a good dissemination <laughs> campaign. And about our last event, LNSS Project Final Dissemination Workshop, uh, we had 34 participants. Uh, we had uh, guests. Uh, we had our National Erasmus Plus uh, office representatives. And uh, Lana Karlova, our National Erasmus Plus office coordinator, uh, pointed out the importance of library in our uh, globalized world and uh, she said that uh, being a librarian is an honor. Uh, then uh, Teresa Hachian uh, mentioned about uh, this, uh, highlighted that the main uh, goal of this project was developing of these eight modules and now uh, the goal was reached and many uh, the libraries of the consortium uh, were equipped uh, with the present, with the modern te uh, technology means. And uh, also, Patrick Kirby, our uh, partner from Limerick Institute of Technology, said that their goal was um, this uh, spreading uh, information literacy. So, this network that was created within this project will be of great help. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll continue. The Lavitan Universities. The first presenter is Maya, the Lavitan State University, Fundamental Library. Thank you. 
common pictures from that event and pictures of uh, lectures from our library in this slide. Our quantitative indicators. Banners, cups, sheets, interview for national television, interview for national radio, and so on. Our trainings. ESPA trainings. There were three such <coughs> trainings in 2016, 2017, and 2018. Our trainings, um, LNSA's pilot model, number five, the first part, the second part, and uh, the next training, digital <coughs> library, model six, our lectures. Our training, avoiding plagiarism. Our training, uh, courses, uh, our training courses for library <coughs> managers. Here you can see our lectures and uh, our participants. All of them are um, directors of universities libra libraries from various regions of Belarus. What scopus and so trainings? Trainings for first year student and the list of teachers of Rikus in this year. 70. Uh, our library is a methodical center for libraries of our country and every year we organize and hold uh, um, conference management, management of university libraries. So our digital resources have improved in general and have improved their visibility. APAC includes about 1 million titles, so we use soft markers create. Our digital library includes 130 thousand documents and we use the space. And in the last transparent ranking of repositories, we have the uh, <coughs> first place. Our electronic achieve uh, new resource, it includes uh, 38,000 documents and pictures. We use of this space. Our library has electronic document delivery and eight virtual exhibitions. <coughs> Uh, after this project, or during this, uh, after this project, mm -hmm. we have new library services, new library site at first, site of the scientific competence, mm -hmm. and our children, new technique for the journals, in print version and uh, digital version. For digital version, we use open journal system. Our population growth. Uh, our. Um, <coughs> <coughs> so, BSU introduced a system of monitoring of a, of a, of a <coughs> growth in its diploma and master works, and our library has three subject lesson playgrounds. In the um, in addition to the achievements, we have problems. <coughs> Our province, Belarus doesn't have an ESTS credit system yet. Our library doesn't have library access as an officer, <coughs> and Creative Commons license is not legally implemented in our country. Our needs. We need database, the online constructor of links, and the online platform, online information literacy course software. So, <coughs> this project was very interesting and very effective for our library. And I would like to say thank you, thank you very much for a very good company and for very nice, very nice days what we spent together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
next presentation. Alexander Adolfin, Academy of Public Administration of Belarus, under the aegis of the President of Belarus. under the aegis of President of the Republic of Belarus. Uh, will be uh, repeat uh, slide, uh, my colleague uh, from Belarus. Uh, you can see, okay? Project Monitoring National Erasmus Plus Office of Belarus. Pilot training number three, Minsk, Belarus, APA, uh, APA staff, university library staff, and public library staff. I am presentation uh, module number three, social management and transferable skills for libraries and library staff. Topics, uh, modules, uh, photo. Project Intermedia Meeting, uh, Dresden, Germany, National Library Awareness Day, Minsk, Belarus. Yes. Uh, the leader team uh, BSU Vladimir on TV, Belarus, the channel. Culture on the National Radio, National Awareness Day in Minsk, Expert Meeting Place. Uh, on the organized Expert Meeting Place, which brought together experts in the library management from different countries. Place. More than 5,000 people visited on the festival of May. <coughs> uh, internet publication, a photo report posted on the librarian's pages, social network, and most which. Training program, essential management and transferable skills for librarians and library staff, means Belarus, Greece, training, University of Crete, Vitsimno, project monitoring National Erasmus Plus, Office of Belarus, uh, was held in Grodna. In the framework of International Conference Management of University Libraries, Belarus Partners presents details report on the NSS project. The pilot training innovation online library service for the uh, librarians in the APA uh, topics uh, module photo. Second National Library Awareness Day was held in Brest under the Old Spices of the Erasmus Plus NSS project. Photo. Promotion. The training English as medium of Instruction means Belarus, a list of lesson officers, equipment, uh, 
Many techniques uh, have libraries, uh, project, uh, projector, notebook, Xerox, RFID technology. The second library, APA, uh, will be uh, have technology. Mm -hmm. Librarians are happy with this equipment. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Future. Strategic plan, financial mm -hmm. aspects, international aspects, institutional aspects. Uh, last year, National Amongst the Minsk framework of the five city festival of May, the city of and books. Next year, National Amongst the Grodna, April, maybe. Thank you for your... Thank you very much. Yanka Kupala State University of Grodno, Marina. Marina Kuradavec. were given certificates and uh, module number four uh, information literacy and research skills uh, on the on its base we held uh, trainings for students and uh, academic staff of our university uh, so we also take part at fifth forum of uh, librarians of Belarus and there we uh, tell about the project, our experience. So, about uh, your achievements, yeah. 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 And uh, we can say a few words about National Awareness Day. It was a huge uh, event. Uh, we can uh, um, Popular, popularize uh, library and library services. Uh, it was um, uh, huge and uh, there were 5,000 people in uh, 2017. Uh, the second National Awareness Day was held in Brest. Uh, there were three uh, sectors for students, uh, teachers and librarians. Uh, so all the information about the project are uh, posted on our um, website, website and also in social networks. And we also have two articles about the project in the uh, Nastavnitska newspaper. So, um, uh, equipment, uh, we are very happy to have new equipment. Uh, our students and our um, staff uh, were pleased and the work uh, became faster and uh, more comfortable. So, uh, in future we are going to continue our work on modernization and reforming libraries. 
uh, the project gives us a uh, um, huge um, platform for this and uh, we want to thank to everyone, especially to Teresa and Anna, and we hope for further cooperation. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs>
option minority of Caracas monitoring. Yes, this meeting uh, and more near the 100 people take participants, students, academic staff, a lot of librarians from uh, different library uh, from our city, from Minsk come visit and speak. This National Awareness Day was organized on three platforms. Uh, one platform was for librarians, uh, next platform from students, and the uh, third uh, session was uh, specific for academic staff. Very important because uh, we have a big problem with uh, plagiarism, with population, uh, popularization of article, which prepare our academic staff. It's very important and uh, have a good feedback from academic staff and students. Then we visit press fortress. What about promotion? We uh, have a very um, great activity. In this part, we uh, pr made some promotion uh, pr products. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of promotion. These links you can see. Yes. And we have, of course, a plan for future to increase uh, this product. Uh, you can see plan. Of course, it's organized of next National Awareness Day. You have to yes. And it's all. Thank you very much. Moldova, APAM, Academy of Public Administration of Moldova. was among the libraries selected for the participation in the LNSS project. Our two, the team took advantage of this opportunity and did our best to correspond to the exigencies of the project requirements. The benefits of uh, being a partner in the project were manifold. First, we improved our knowledge in uh, many aspects related to library work. Uh, uh, management, uh, quality assurance, uh, customer care, uh, new technology, uh, English skills in um, library terminology. Uh, second, we're involved in um, project activities, many interested people, uh, such as the academic community, uh, uh, professors and students, uh, school teachers and uh, pupils, uh, librarians from uh, different public libraries. Um, third, we exchange experience with our foreign uh, uh, partners and uh, learn about their um, they, uh, success story. So below I will speak uh, uh, shortly about the activities uh, carried out within the project, uh, our achievements, um, sustainability and dissemination uh, of the project results. So, uh, starting with the activities, um, during the project imp implementation peer period, we have done uh, three project uh, partner management meetings, uh, three international trainings, two English for specific purposes trainings, two pilot training for Model 3 and Model 5, uh, three monitoring meetings, and two working meetings of the LNSS uh, Moldovan team. Uh, not to repeat what the colleagues already said, and to save time, I will stick only to those activities which were done here at the Academy. So, first was the uh, English for Specific Proposals training in April uh, 2016. Uh, 22 uh, persons participated at this uh, training, uh, librarians, teachers, PhD students, uh, the topics were basically dedicated to uh, the English language and uh, also to um, some uh, 
um, topics related to librarian um, terminology. Uh, second activity was the uh, LNSS project monitoring meeting uh, on December 2016. The purpose of the monitoring was to clarify some um, difficulties and problems on the one hand and on the other to um, highlight successful uh, experience and the best practices so they can be uh, replicated in other uh, Erasmus Plus uh, project. Um, next was the pilot training essential management and transferable skills for librarians and library staff. Um, this topic was covered by um, uh, LNSS curriculum model 3 and um, uh, it includes uh, <coughs> more uh, topics such as uh, international librarian standards, uh, negotiating and library strategic planning, uh, strategic and uh, business planning for uh, skills for librarians, effective customer care, uh, time management and um, communication and listening skills. 25 <coughs> participants at this training, librarian students, academic staff and administrative staff. Um, second English for specific purposes training uh, took place on June. 2017, the training was organized for two groups of uh, uh, learners, uh, first uh, advanced level of knowledge and uh, for the second for uh, beginners and intermediate mid uh, level. Uh, the purpose of the training was to develop uh, skills and abilities of participants to use the uh, most effective methods of, um, of studying English. Uh, 27 uh, participants librarians, teachers, uh, representative of uh, master students. Uh, pilot, tra uh, pilot training uh, number two for module five, innovative online libraries, uh, library service for the uh, 21st century librarians, uh, November uh, 2017. Uh, this training covers uh, such topics like, uh, uh, like uh, electronic catalogs, digital and virtual library, uh, information technology for librarians, open electronics archives, and bibliometric uh, instruments. Uh, also, there was a practical applications uh, regarding the information search strategy in shared uh, university catalog, and uh, also the um, use of a repository in the institutional repository. Uh, third monitoring uh, meeting of the LNSS project in uh, June this year, uh, carried out by representatives of uh, Erasmus Plus National Office. Um, the monitoring was not only uh, a review of achievements, but uh, also an estimate uh, of the sustainability of the project and, uh, and ultimately the opportunity for future new projects. Uh, one of the most important uh, activities during the project was um, uh, National Awareness Day entitled Your Library, Your Progress. Uh, we provided two, uh, two years in a row. Um, the purpose was uh, to raising awareness on the role uh, of the library in society and its potential for life of, lifelong learning. Um, the target groups of so students, uh, professors, high school pupils, uh, teachers and people with special needs. Uh, first year, uh, last year of uh, National Awareness Day, uh, we had done 18 activities, uh, 720 participants. Uh, this year, uh, 10 activities and 220 participants. Uh, last year, uh, the most uh, important uh, part of the National Awareness Day was a national campaign of a collection and donation of uh, books for people with special needs. In, entitled Donate a Book to Change a Destiny. Um, 
the purpose of this campaign was to raise awareness of the needs of rehabilitation, integration, and uh, development by reading for people with special needs. So the target group was the beneficiaries of the Echo Chernobyl Foundation, children and uh, young people with uh, special needs. Uh, and this campaign, uh, 3,500 books were collected, uh, 388 participants, and the event was uh, widely covered on radio, website, social media, and uh, newspapers. Uh, also, an important uh, uh, event was event was the participation of the LNSS Moldova representatives in the event dedicated to 30th anniversary of the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, at this event, also uh, participate attended the Prime Minister and, uh, and Chief of the EU delegation in Moldova. Uh, National Awareness Day in uh, at this year, 2018. Uh, among other activities was the master class become a better teacher, effective teaching methods using ICT, provided by Angela Retanovic and uh, Manuel Karakis. Uh, uh, now I will, start, uh, I will continue with the project achievements. Um, First, increased uh, image of library role in the academic community and society, enhanced competencies and skilled library staff and academic community, uh, development and approval of a new library uh, develop, uh, development policies such as library development strategy, open access policy, regulation on organization and operation of the institutional repository, Library collection development policy, uh, creation of the multimedia room uh, endowed with the equipment from project budget, uh, implementation and management of the COCA uh, library integrated software, uh, creation of the manage, uh, and management of the APAM institutional repository, establishment of the English Resource Center. Uh, students' training and familiarization with best practices of citing bibliological references and avoiding plagiarism, <coughs> creation of innovative services in the library, such as Ask Librarian, personalized service for users, uh, electronic information delivery, uh, library uh, endowed with the up-to-date technical equipment, uh, creation of the interlibrary, civil society and other institutional partnerships and also uh, one of the project uh, objective, objectives uh, uh, created uh, of a library access liaison officer and the subject liaison officer. Um, of course during the project implementation we we'll have uh, some challenges and obstacles. Uh, first, of, first of all was the uh, lack of experience. This is the first international project of major scale, in, scale implemented in uh, our library. So uh, it was a little bit difficult to, to go through this, uh, but uh, hopefully we did. <laughs> a small number of uh, library, library staff also uh, is a problem and the full knowledge of the English language. But after the end of this project, I think we will need to be improved to the, the last point. Um, uh, project sustainability uh, is maintaining the role of the library and librarians as part of higher education. Uh, speaking of the financial aspects, um, the main sources of um, uh, are going to, the main sources of uh, financing are going to be institutional budget, uh, also participation fees for training programs and sponsorship. Institutional aspects: uh, the project team will continue uh, its current work after finalizing the project with improved performance, 
as a, as a result of the experience gained in the outcomes developed during the implementation of the project. Um, the results and experience gained uh, within the project will be integrated into the institutional development strategy. Uh, integration of the eight LNSS training models into the doctoral master, masters and the professional development programs of the academy. Access to library for people with special needs will be provided. Um, the national aspect. Um, librarian's training programs will be authorized after the completion of the project and uh, the uh, accurate experience will be tra uh, transferred and multiplied to uh, the effects of the, uh, of the project. The results of the project will be disseminated at the university libraries, public libraries and free university education libraries. Open Doors Day will uh, be established at national level and um, involve the participation of all stakeholders. Uh, national Day will continue to be organized for 10 years. At interna uh, international aspects, this um, partnership will be maintained by, by concluding collaboration agreements between uh, project partners for their further development and um, of support uh, for the uh, further dissemination of sustainability and exploration of the project results. The library network will continue to promote project outcomes across the Eastern Neighborhood, neighborhood Partnership area by maintaining the project site and joint training activities between partner institutions will be uh, organized. Uh, dissemination activities, uh, uh, public presentation of the project, uh, information um, of the academic communities about the uh, objectives and benefits of the project, uh, such as senate meetings, uh, uh, methodological seminars, scientific activities, staff meetings in, uh, in the academy, uh, national and uh, international professional meetings uh, such as conferences, workshops and seminars and symposium and uh, so on. And uh, information in the media, uh, website, uh, social network, uh, newspapers, uh, scientific journals and uh, delivered trainings in the, and the dissemination at institutional and national level. Uh, project visibility uh, was uh, reflected um, on the library website, in social media, in the public servant newspaper, uh, public administration journals. So the uh, LNSS project contributed to the uh, international visibility of the scientific uh, library and the academy itself. Uh, some promotional materials were, were made for uh, during the project uh, implementation period. Um, speaking about uh, out -planned, out, uh, unplanned, uh, unplanned outcomes, uh, one of them is International Open Access Weeks, which provide uh, workshops, trainings, and uh, other activities. Uh, unplanned, out unplanned outcomes also is uh, open of the English Resource Center, with the support of the British Council and uh, uh, the support of the uh, project also, we bought some uh, books uh, dedicated to the English study. Uh, launching of the uh, APAM Institutional Repository also was possible uh, due to the, uh, the that equipment which was uh, procured uh, from a budget, uh, from the project budget. And the uh, launching of the COCA integrated library system also uh, was possible uh, with the, the equipment, equipment which was uh, procured. So shortly this is uh, the, uh, our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Next presenter is Elena Valentina. Valentina, okay, Valentina. Alec Russo, State University of Balti.
Dear audience, good afternoon. I should like to say some words and to underline that I, we, uh, the BOTS project team are very proud to be here with you and uh, we are ready to invite you for tomorrow in BOTS. So uh, let me present shortly uh, the presentation from BOTS project team because our presentation consists of more than 70 slides. The effects and professional achievements in the LNSA project. The LNSS project has provided us with very valuable opportunities, including the possibility of learning life, the trends, and similar and way of developing European libraries and the difficulties faced by similar libraries in the former Soviet space. We mentioned selective partnership who directed us and guided the progress of our institutions to become more performing, relevant and accessible. Overall and specific objectives for the reform of several aspects of libraries. Activity primarily expanding and consolidating the knowledge of librarians. English training for specific purpose, improving the professional skills and quality of management. After knowing the full content of the Lancers project, uh, the first action was uh, to create the team and an Lancers project management organization chair. <coughs> In addition to the full members of the team, other librarians with relevant capacities were inter integrated to the project activity. Several statistic data with a more detail of various forms of activity are presented in the following slides. We keep your attention on number of institutional, national and international activities which have amplified both the achievement of the project's objectives <coughs> and, and contribution to its promotion. Together with all our colleagues, participants in the project, we have had set up five mobilities in <coughs> Romania, Ireland, Germany, Greece, Belarus, where we can back learn it with new knowledge, experience, and experiences, and good practices. The first trainings began with European trainers in April 2016, and then in June 2017 and July 2018, being supplemented by mobility trainings. They will learn how to de develop the curriculum module, which are the stages of organization and how training takes place, how to make presentations to capture audience of attendances. Returning home with the task of drafting some of the eight planned modules for some librarians devoted themselves to the preparation of two pilot modules, collection development policy and information literacy and research skills, which took place in February and November 2017. International experts, Dr. Angela Repanovic, Kukarakis mm -hmm. Manolis, Tainer Gerald Gavanak, Audrey D. Kerbe from the uh, island, um, has positively appreciated the best efforts. Overall, the trainees and their knowledge was of a high standard. The trainees were very professional and to finish off training, they used a crossword to ascertain the knowledge of the students. This activity was a lot of fun and the students really enjoyed the activity. Overall, this teaching sessions was both informative and enjoyable to, of, to observe. In the following period, the Bell's librarians adapted the following six curriculum, having the examples of volumes and the partnership. Some topics have already presentations. It remains to work on the other modules to have the modular integral support. The module of information literacy and research skills is integrated into the USAP curriculum, being promoted to our faculty, to our students uh, in the first year courses in a volume of 40 hours and has one ICT credit. Ten libraries promoted each year 1700 uh, hours for 3,111 3, students. The LNS project has brought a new impetus to this movement, enriching them with knowledge, databases, reference management software, academic writing, copyright, and anti-plagiarism. This module is promoted 
propose to students of second cycle master's degree studies within the framework of licensing master's in professional math. Turning to Library National State 2017 2018, NAT, an innovative activity built into our spaces that highlights the library as a social institution, education, and research. In 2017 and 2018, special programs with the involvement of academics, students, and of course librarians were developed. For traditional and online book exhibitions, electronic information resources to professional meetings, conferences, different colloquia, symposia, national level, at national level and international level. We use the recommended structure, the marketing plan with initial SWOT analysis and after the NAP promotion, we are counting all activities and the number of participants to analyze and design relevant actions in the years to come. A special chapter in this report is uh, the promotion of LSS, which we took care to connect the university site and the library to the general project site. The Minister of Education, Culture and Research website contains information about the LMS project. Also, it contains uh, the discussion between the Minister of Education and Culture and Research with the Director of the Scientific Library. The visit was followed by a tour through the library in September 2017. A great professional interest has led to the participation of representatives of the LNSS project in Moldova at the events organized by the National Library and the Association of Librarians in Moldova. I mean annual symposium bibliological in 2016. Following this event on April 23, 2018, the scientific library was where distinguished with the Gallus diploma and the clock with the symbols of the National Library. About the project was spoken at managers' forums and conferences of the Romanian Librarian Association in Brasov, conference on the day of the library in Suceava, Romania, national conference, since an event organized by academic libraries and international bodies. The delegation of the European Union, the Erasmus Plus Office, where the analysis project was promoted, its opportunities, its effect and impact on academic communities in the USA and beyond. Here we also mention the post-project modern information services for improvement study quality project, Mrs. Q, which took place 2013 until 2016. Involvement, creativity, sustainability, which was held on September 27, 2008, additional, to which we contributed with papers, moderations, and publications. Other chapter contains activities. Other activities we have part of the institutional summer school of libraries, which have the length and consolidate the knowledge gained from these three projects. Mrs. Hugh, LMSS, and modernization of the university, university library services from Moldova professional meetings and trainings of school and public libraries on the basis of librarianship and information sciences, the current trends in the development of libraries in Moldova, to which national trainings, I mean our librarian from university, from scientific library, have shared their knowledge of their public projects. Monitoring reports. Monitoring is a complex, often difficult, but at the same time exciting, stimulating, has taught us to approach topics from different perspectives, analyze and synthesize. Along with the national monitoring, we mentioned the project, post-project monitoring with this skill. We talked about the LNSS project, in which we will speak about products and the way used and promoted in this skill. Implementation of other systems, shared catalog of an excellent Primo platform, the development of the open research archive, or also training of trainees and strengthening the information literacy. What comes to dissemination? How dissemination is um, how disseminated the analysis project are very, uh, are very large. We have uh, more than 50 presentations and articles, video sports, video films on YouTube, on YouTube and of course uh, we have a lot of uh, dissemination at the different conferences that I mentioned above. Uh, finally, 
I, I want to underline the new perspectives on sustainability or which is the effects of the project. Sustainability. Every project generates positive efforts, both during the implementation period and many years after implementation. Academic libraries projects carried out in the Republic of Moldova, starting with supported by Soros Foundation, Tempus Program, Erasmus Plus, Moldova's partnership with Norway and Romania have invested in infrastructure, the effects on which are and will remain beneficial for many years to come. Social. Effect, effects on professional competitiveness, developing new relationships with users, increasing the number of users, diversification of services, increasing access to new upgraded services, safety information of the academic community, ensuring access for people with disabilities, major education and quality education, economic domain development, and uh, so uh, enhancing integration in the process of training and scientific research, human resource performance, increasing institutional profitability, strengthening and modernizing libraries, the intensity of use of information resources, services, and products. I think the NSS project will be a great help for our libraries. At the end of my uh, presentation, I want to thank you all. Of uh, European experts, I mean uh, Dr. Angela Repanovic. Many, th many thanks to Manoni Kukakis from the bottom of our Belt Project uh, um, team. And uh, thank you, Professor Bertone, for support and kind intervention in our trainings and master classes. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Valentina. Thank you, all partners. All was very interesting and very impressive. And um, we do hope very much that the sustainability will be